Hello everyone. In this video, we can see how we can transfer order to multiple session and receive order from multiple session. This app help you to operate call center and call center branches in point of sale. User can transfer order to multiple call center branches from main call center and add a product. That product can be transferred to the destination branches. On receiving the order, this order will be added to the point of sale card for other branch. For setting up a configuration, we need to get into a settings. Under that, you can see a point of sale. Here you can see a list of shops which we have already created. To create a new one, you can just click on the new shop to create a new shop right away here. And you can see I have selected a shop as end call center. This is end coin point of sale call center configurations which I have selected a shop as in call center and other as in branches. You can see that is a call center is used to send an order from that session and is a branch is used to receive an order from another point of sale. So is a call center shows an option to transfer the product to the another branch and is a branch option is used to receive a product from another branch. And you have seen that I have chosen all other shop as an is a branch. So from shop we can sell that, that is transfer the product and from using a branch that is from other shop we can receive the products. So let me show how it will be processed. So let me save this one. So now let's see how we can transfer the order. So for that we need to get into a point of sale. Here you can see a list of sessions which are already created. So if you need to create a new one, you can just click on a shop and you can just process your flow. So here you can see a products are available. Let me select two products and I need to select a customer. So now I need to transfer this product to an other branch. So for that here I have click on the transfer and this pop up will be shows which shows a transfer details, order details. So here you can see an order date, order note and order branch as well and also the priority level of the order can be added here. So let me select an order date first and the time and also the order note which is a reference and here you can see a branches, the stock branches will be shown. So let me share this particular product to INR shop. And also it will be very urgent so I have marked an order priority as in urgent and under that you can see a three options which shows a close if you need to close this transfer order pop-up you can just close it and if you need to send this and you can print you can you need to check the print you can just use a send and print option and also if you need to only send an order you can just click on the send order to transfer the order and you can see an send up print option let me click on that so it will show a print which has an order reference right away here so each and every call that's a transfer will be recorded in a calls so to check all the transfer order you need to get into a point of sale and under order you can see a point of sale call orders let me get into that here you can see a list of call orders will be listed here. So this is the one which I have marked now. So I have transferred the products to INR branch. You can see an INR branch here. Okay. And also a call reference will be automatically. You can see a call reference here and also the call reference in the print all as well. Okay. So let me get into a shop and receive the products. So for that I need to close this session okay, and get back to an INR. Here you can see an INR shop. So I need to continue this order and in the receive order you can see an already created one which is here. So we need to click on the print option to get a print. More than that you can see an order reference, customer name, date total amount priority of the product and also a receipt 
In receipt, you can see a print option which will give a detailed description about the product. And uh, you can see a product with the amount and the total amount of it. And when we click into the uh, order, you can see an order details with the customer name included. And in the bottom, you can see a three option which is shows a delivery, transfer and as well as close. You can, uh, you can transfer this order that is this particular order to another shop as well. And if you need to deliver the product to the customer, you can just click on the deliver option to deliver the product. If you need to transfer to the another shop, you can just click on the transfer to transfer the shop. So before that, we need to select a shop for, from uh, which to where we need to from where to where we need to transfer it. So you can select an UAE right away here. So now currently we are in IANA. So I am going to transfer this particular product from IANA shop to UAE shop. So just click on the transfer, you can transfer it. And also if you need to close, you can just click on the close option. So let me transfer this to UAE. So to check an order, again, I need to get into an order. Under that, you can see a point of sale call orders. So this is the one which I have transferred. You can see a branch will be trans tra changed here from INR to UAE. So let me get into an UAE again to deliver the products to customer. So first we need to close this one. And then I need to get into an UAE. So here we can see and receive order. Let me get into that. And here in the UAE shop from the UAE shop perspective, they can see an order reference, customer name, date, which is same as INR and also they need to get into here and in if you if they need to deliver the product to the customer they can deliver it right away here so it will give uh, customer details and also the uh, products detail products here so if you need to make a payment and uh, you can process the payment from this page itself so in this way we can transfer the order to multiple session and receive order from multiple sessions thank you for watching